block around here. We live in her mag, um, cops coming through. We live, I, my boyfriend went downstairs first. He called me to tell me to come downstairs. I came downstairs. I've been hearing people saying that two dogs got shot. One got shot in the, in the neck, one got shot in the eye. They say supposedly that one of the dogs bit the officer's face. I'm going to be honest with y'all, but the dogs we know, they will never do that. They're sweet, they're kind. They probably did something to make the dog angry or upset. We, we know these people for the longest. The dogs are sweet, the owners are kind. Just they saying that, I heard a lot of people saying that, oh, that the dogs got shot and they saying that the officer, I don't know what really happened. Um, sorry, I'm a little shy. Um, oh, okay. So right now, I don't know if the dogs are alive or dead. They just took the dogs to the vet and they just took the officers that shot the dogs to the stationary. Um, I don't know if you want to have, ask questions so I can answer it. Uh, um, what makes you uh, feel about this? Uh, what well, this made me feel is really upset. I, I really, really feel bad for the dogs. It's, it's really, it's really messed up. They, the cops really had to do their jobs right. Like, why you shoot a partnership dog? Dogs don't deserve to die. They don't. Right here. Why I'm feeling right now is I really don't want to be here no more. I don't even want to live here right now. I want to move to a different state. Because once the officers are shooting dogs, I'm feeling like they're going to shoot other people for no reason. Um, how long have you been residing in this area? Oh, how long have you been here? Yeah. Um, we've been here for about like five months. And this, we live, we live right then. We Born just moved in. in. We, we, we don't live around here, we live in the Bronx. Me and me and my boyfriend, we've been in the street where we're homeless and everything. And right there we had the program and stuff, we got moved in here. Once we moved in here, everything was doing okay. Every, this, this block was amazing, this block was good. But ever since that this happened, I'm feeling like right now, I, I don't want to be here right now. Um, could you tell like what house did it actually happen? So, the house that you see right there that's like you know the two doors are open yeah in that block that's where the two dogs got shot that's the two neighbors that had the two dogs so that's you know really them? i know one of the owners the owners are really nice they help me out and stuff mm -hmm. i always ask permission to pet the dog the dog is really sweet i i know i know because once we came out here we me and my boyfriend immediately come around here we walk we see the dogs they don't have no leashes on but they they listen they 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 like to walk a lot but they don't walk too far they just walk right there by the trees or that wood and go back home do you know the names of the dogs um no i i don't know the name of the dogs do you, uh, do you know what the breed are they uh bay what kind of dog was it like a pig it, it looked like a pig. It just, I don't know how to explain it. Were well, they big, large, man? They're, they're big. They're big. They're fluffy. Um, if I knew what, what kind of dog was it, I really, I would know and I would have said it. But they, they're really sweet. They look like they're pits or they look like something else. Okay. Now, speaking of the owner, um, has the owner have had any runs with law enforcement or are they like. Um, I only saw, me and my boyfriend saw the owner left driving upset to take the dogs to the vet. I'm, I know that he's probably right now upset and heartbroken right now. Okay, any last comments you want to say on camera? Uh, I, I really want to say this, that um, I'm, I'm really happy that I, that I have a place, a roof over my head because of my uncle. I really, if, if my uncle seeing this, I really want to say thank you for everything for what you did for me. The whole time you always there for me. My mom and my dad was never there for me, but right now, Theo, his name is Theo Bruce. He lives in Connecticut. I really thank you, appreciate it. I love you, Theo. You're my favorite uncle in the whole world. All right, now for TV purposes, can you spell your name? Um, 
Sarah Moreno. Sarah is S A R A H, and Moreno is M O R E N O. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.